Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without an end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead our souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of Jesus into heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, oh my, my Jesus. Jesus. 
Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most in need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, for ever shall be, and O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Mary into heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh oh my, my Jesus, Jesus forgive us our sins, save us, save us from, from the fires of hell. hell. And lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most need of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the crowning of Mary, Queen of heaven and earth. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating upon the mysteries of the whole, most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may take what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The memory. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known 
had anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin Virgins, my mother. To you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer me. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Mary, Queen of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Faustina, pray for us. Saint Anne, pray for us.
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We welcome you to St. Anne's Catholic Church, and especially to any visitors or newcomers to our parish. We welcome you to our community. Today is the third Sunday of Easter. The announcements that for this week are, if you have not turned in your rice bowls, if possible, please convert two coins in your rice bowl into checks and bills for simple counting. Catechism classes for adults have, re have resumed. Classes are every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. Please call Monty to reserve a seat. To accommodate more people into our church during the pandemic, we are asking all parishioners while still maintaining six feet distance between families to move to the center of the aisles. Please take home a bulletin for more information. The Mass today is being celebrated by Father Tuan. In today's reading, we learn the following lesson. Peter proclaims the wonders of the Lord, the suffering Messiah is raised from the dead and has been glorified. This Jesus is our intercessor and our offering for sin. Our, our peace. Please join me in praying the St. Michael prayer. This prayer is being said for the right to life as taught by our Catholic faith. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be with him and humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan all the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Just a reminder to turn off all your cell phones during Mass. Now please rise and take a moment to greet your fellow parishioners. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Adam. the peace of our Lord be with you. I welcome you all here on the third weekend during these 50 days of Easter season, and I thank you for your prayer for those who gather here this morning to help to clean, mold the rats, and you see how beautiful the Paris uh, playgrounds and the round is. Thank you for your prayer and support and pray for those people who helped this morning. And also thank you for those people who come early before Mass at 4.30. So we pray the rosary and through the intercession of the Virgin Mary plus upon us and our parish during the transition. Before we celebrate this Eucharist, we ask God for mercy and, and, and mercy and forgiveness as we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brother and sister, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my word, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most greatly fault. Therefore, I ask as we a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brother and sister, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, 
have mercy now. Lord, have mercy now. Glory to God. People exhort forever, O God, in renew your fullness of spirit, so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicings of the days of resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to the people, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied, it, you denied the holy and righteous one and asked that a murderer be released to you the author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. Now I know, brothers, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted that your sins may be wiped away. The word of the Lord. Response oil psalm. Lord, let your face shine on us. Lord, let your face shine on us. When I call, answer me, O my just God. You who 
relieve me when I am in distress. Have pity on me and hear my prayer. Lord, let your face shine on us. Know that the Lord does wonders for his faithful ones. The Lord will hear me when I call upon him. Lord, let your face shine on us. O Lord, let your light, let the light of your countenance shine upon us. You put gladness into my heart. Lord, let your face shine upon us. As soon as I lie down, I fall peacefully asleep. For you alone, O Lord, bring security to my dwelling. Lord, let your face shine on us. A reading from the first letter of St. John. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The way we may be sure that we know him is to keep his commandments. Those who say, I know him, but do not keep, com but do not keep his commandments are liars, and the truth is not in them. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. The word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The two disciples recounted what had taken place on the way and how Jesus was made known to them in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet, while they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed. He asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them and said to them, These are my word that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scripture and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ 
would suffer and rise from the death on the first day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witness of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. I welcome you here on the third week during these 50 days of Easter celebration. And yet, still during the coronavirus, we first moved to the third phase three, and then now we move to phase two. And again, uh, with the attending mass and all that is still, you know, 25%. So if all of these facilities fill up, should be 200 people in this big church. But we are, you look around, it's not even 200 people this evening. So you are safe with the distance. As you know, we always ask you if in the same family, sit next to one another, and you can shake hands and everything within the family. But, but if separate family, make sure you have distance six feet and wear face mask. And if you are sick, please stay home. And we pray for you, and I myself personally promise you since last two years, I have mass every day praying for the parishioner and also pray for the transition. And I ask you to join us. Only God and the Holy Spirit of God are able to give us peace and guide us to do the right thing and bring us together. As we hear in the first reading today, Peter share with the early Christian community that his obligation to witness, to preach the good news of Christ suffer, die, and raise up again. And also the gospel today that you are witness of this thing, of all the things you hear in the scripture, you and I have to witness. And yet during this time, how are we going to witness of Christ suffering, death, and resurrection? That if we don't have faith in Christ and strongly believe, it's quite the challenge for us. If we confuse ourselves, how are we going to witness Christ to another people? I congratulate the couple who married this morning and yet fill up with the church at St. John of the Wood. And yet how sacrament of matrimony is important. I also congratulate those parents who celebrate the sacrament of baptism with us during daily mass and also this weekend uh, tomorrow. And I ask you that pray for them uh, so they able to have strong faith even during the time of challenging and difficult. They are witnessing Christ among us. And Christ truly present in this Eucharist on this table we are about to celebrate. Christ always promised to be with us till the end of time. But do we have faith and witnessing this belief and this scripture that Christ has spoke to us and shared with us? So I ask you, please join us in praying and then ask God to give us courage and strength to witness the good news and to share the good news with one another. So please stand up together. We profess our faith as we say, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty.
be God and not me. For this and man shall be between thou and heaven by the Holy Spirit. For our sake he was crucified in the country. He suffered death and death. And rose again on the third day. the scriptures, he ascended into heaven. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds to the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the cross. I believe in the one who is the Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess for the baptism for the forgiveness of sin, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. The reason Christ is presence in this holy assembly with joyful confidence, then let us pray. Let the church be ever thankful for the gifts of the earth and the graces that flow from the real presence of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government leaders revere the sanctity of life from conception to natural death, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the unemployed and the underemployed be comforted by God, who knows all needs and the longings of their hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church in Western Washington, that as we discern our participation in this year's annual Catholic appeal, we may be filled with the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in a prison of isolation be welcomed and comforted by the hospitality of a loving community, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the members of this congregation, united in love and service, be perfected in the love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, that they may enjoy the fullness of God's heavenly glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer now our personal intentions. For these and all the prayers entered in our book of prayer and those that are held in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of life, hear our Easter prayer that our recreation in the image of the risen Christ may be complete and our rebirth in his new life may be experienced in every moment you give us. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
Pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, this offering of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gift we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to allow you yet more gloriously. When Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed, for he is the true Lamb who have taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he have destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people a source in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts. Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are in this holy, O Lord, the fonts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending thou your spirits upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and enter willingly into his person, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread through all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That's with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph who is found, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the age, we may merit to be co-heir to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <laughs> At the same command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth that is in heaven. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, racially and peace in our day that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostle, Peace, I leave you my peace. I give you look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and restlessly grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace and love. Lamb of God.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. My Jesus.
Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you who are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. First, I thank those people who turn in the commitment card for your time and your talent. As you know, we really need your help, and I hoping and expecting each of the member of the last several months and the subcommittee from different area like liturgy, like diversity, like school, like facility, and all those subcommittee are meeting and gathering and talking. And if you have any concern in those areas, make sure participate or let the subcommittee to working on that new Paris thing. And so more people can involve. And then also that after Mark today, you know, the year of St. Joseph, and we have the holy call of St. Joseph. They send it to us, both Vietnamese and English. So make sure to get the holy call that the prayer that for St. Joseph, and I encourage you to take the holy car home and say those uh, prayer. So through the intercession of St. Joseph, bless upon our family and our parish, and also there's a lot of banana that outside the church, I don't know, the people giving. And so look at that if you want some banana taking home after mass today. And also I ask you that uh, there are so many things going on in the parish, so I ask you to involve. Like you see, we have about six or seven young men who come in this morning, working side by side with me, mowing the grass, cleaning the parish. And if you have time, come to water the flower bed. And please take care and fill this parish in your own. If you involve and you do something, you're able to feel that that belong to us. But if you don't do anything and you don't involve, you always feel stranger. And the bishop wants every one of us to be the host. And I'm not feeling you are still guests. How are we going to be the guest and then try to be a host and make it so difficult? And I ask you to be a host and so we can feel ownership, so we can feel welcome and then uh, welcome another people into our parish. So the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God.